Assalamu alaikum. So, I'm Mr. Sam Shutarik. Today, we'll be discussing about half adder and full adder. Okay. So, <clears throat> why do we need to use half adder and full adder? Well, basically, first of all, you should know is that why uh, do we actually use the adder? Well, as far as the adder is concerned, it's basically in, uh, in electronics, we, we need to add uh, the digits, okay? So, adder is a digit circuit that performs addition to numbers, okay? Or in modern computers, obviously, you have the arithmetic logic unit. So, adder basically resides inside the ALU. It's part of your ALU that performs these additions that you have, so all these calculations. There are two adders that are in your ARL syllabus. One is your half adder and one is your full adder, and we will be discussing these today. And we will see how these two important uh, circuits can be used to process uh, different additions and on the mic data. As far as your half adder is concerned, okay, so basically uh, this is what we have. Uh, we, we have uh, two inputs over here and we have some and we have a carry. So that's your half adder. So <clears throat> I'll just explain it through a much more appropriate diagram. So first of all, what we will do is we'll make a truth table of the half adder. Now, as you know, that the half adder uh, will be used to perform your calculations on your two bits. Okay, the reason why we have to use a full adder is obviously if we have more bits, eight bits, 16 bits, 32 bits, uh, in that case, we can do it. So for less bits, we will be using is simply a half adder. So in case of the half adder, we'll make a truth table and we'll see how does it work. So we have two inputs, we have A, B, and we have the output, uh, we'll name this as a digit, and then we'll have a C out. So obviously we have uh, the following combination that we can have. We can have zero, zero, or we can have zero, one, or we can have one, zero, or either we can have one, one. So as you can see is that zero, zero will basically will have the output as zero and the, the, the C out, uh, the carry in this case will be your zero. C, C out is the carry out. In case of zero one, we will obviously have it, uh, as one digit sum and the carry will be zero again. In case of one zero, we'll have the output digit sum as digit uh, one and carry again zero. In case of one one, all of you know, obviously when we uh, do the addition of one one, we will have the digit as zero and we have a carry of one. Okay. Uh, well, if you closely look at the following, what's happening over here? In case of this particular case, if you have studied uh, digital logic and design, you will note over here that this is following the rule of the ZOR gate, okay? So uh, the ZOR gate is basically, it looks like this. There you go. Trying to make it. So your digit that you're getting, uh, and that's your A and B. So the output that you're getting, this output, this output, is basically coming through the ZOR gate, right? Okay, right? So whenever uh, any one of them is, is one, the output is one. And as you can see over here, if you look, we look at the C out, again, if you have sound understanding of uh, uh, digital logic and design, you will notice over here that this tends to be uh, your, your AND gate. So as you can see over here is, if we have A and B, that's your AND gate. Excuse my uh, 
drawings. So here we have the C out. And you can see over here is that this is your, your AND gate. So you can see the output that we're getting in the C out is coming through the AND gate, then the output that we're getting in the digit is through the ZOR gate. So this means if we have to withdraw the, the circuit diagram of your half header, uh, it will look something like this. Um, I, I can draw it in a, in a new page as well. So it will be something like this. Uh, we'll have the A, we'll have the B. Okay, so we'll have the ZOR gate, which will give us the digit, right? So my input comes here. Okay, and I'm sorry, I'll draw it again. It's becoming a bit untidy. So as I was saying is, uh, let me just draw it a bit neat. That's your digit. So that's your A coming in. That's your B coming in. Okay. And the same time, uh, you will have this B going and this will be your C out. And this one So this is your half adder. That's how your half adder uh, circuit is drawn. So um, the, you should, you're supposed to know the truth table, okay? And uh, you should be able to uh, remember that how can we draw the logic circuit diagram of your half adder. When we discuss about um, the, the truth table is, well, why there's a need of, of uh, a full, uh, sorry, full adder? Well, uh, the, uh, as, you, as, you, as you know, in the half adder, that the C out that we are getting is not uh, being used somewhere else. And obviously, if we want to add more bits, A, 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 A1632, uh, we will need is a full adder. So um, in a very simple way, uh, basically, if you have is A and B two inputs, you will have is the third input, which is basically the, the C the CN, okay? Uh, the, the CN that we are discussing over here basically is the previous carry bit. So remember that in case of full error, CN is the previous carry bit. So let's see uh, how it goes. So here we go. I'll just draw uh, a very basic diagram of this. So that, that's your full error. I will also draw a detailed version of this right now. So this is how your full adder will basically look like. And the output that you'll get over here, there will be two outputs that you're getting. One is the S, let's say, and then one is your C out that you're getting. So this is how your full adder basically will be constructed. So we will try to, uh, first of all, make uh, the truth table out of it, okay? And we'll, then later on, we'll, we'll construct uh, the digital circuit diagram of this. So give me a second, let me just, um, note down this. Give me just one minute. In fact, I'll just pause for a while. Let me just. So here you go. Uh, this is what what we have over here in case of full adder. So we have uh, the input A and B. Okay, we have the input A and B, and we have the other input as C N. And this is what we have. Uh, the carry out and the sum. So this is sum and the carry. So in case of all zeros, obviously we have the sum and uh, uh, the carry as zero. Uh, in case of zero, 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 and, uh, and if CN is one, we get the sum as one carry is zero, uh, so on and so, so we get the following, okay? So um, now, <clears throat> the important thing to note over here will be uh, we, we can see that the output of sum, output of this sum that we have, okay, 
uh, is high. You'll see this is high whenever there are odd number of high inputs. Okay, so when there are odd numbers of high inputs, uh, we can see that this is high. And you can also see is, and uh, as far as this is concerned, you will you note something over here is, and uh, C C out bit is high if uh, at least uh, two or more than two inputs are high over here. Okay, so you can even see that. So these are the two cases that you can see what, what what's happening over here. Uh, well, if we draw the, the circuit of this, it will be a bit complex, but obviously you should know it. Uh, a combination of two half adder will be used. Okay, uh, and that's how we'll be able to draw it. Um, at the same time, we have to use uh, the OR gate uh, afterwards uh, to find the C out in case of this. Okay, so you've seen the truth table of it. Uh, you should know how uh, to draw the truth table in your exams as well. This is the way truth table is drawn. If we draw our circuit diagram, um, give me a second, let me draw that for you. I'll try to make it as neat as possible. So here we go. Uh, this is my A. Obviously, I'll not be able to make it very neat, but I'll try my best. Uh, then we have is B, and then we'll have is our CN. Okay, so CN is basically this is this this is the important thing of the full letter that the CN that we're getting in this that we're getting in this was your C out uh, in the in the half letter that was not being utilized. Now we are using that again. Okay, so carry in. So we have three inputs in case of full letter. I repeat again. Uh, so here we go. First of all, let me add one of the ZOR gate over here. Okay, I will extend this. And this will again be connected with another ZOR gate. Uh, there, 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 obviously you can connect them it in a very different way as well. So I get the sum. Okay, so the output flow of this goes to the other ZOR gate. So I have this ZOR over here. I have this ZOR over here. Okay, uh, so A, one goes over here and the input of B, as you can see is, goes over here, right? Uh, then we need is uh, two AND gates, uh, and we'll use C in for that. So okay, let me do that. Uh, I can draw one over here. And I can draw one over here. And later on, what we'll do is, like I told you, this is how of your full adder is made. Uh, we'll combine these two outputs from the end and we'll use an OR gate to get our C out. Okay. And if you implement this side by side with truthable, you understand exactly this is how it will work. So <clears throat> what I'll do is uh, I will connect this to this, okay? And I will connect this to this. Then what I'll do is this needs to be connected to B and I need to connect this to so when you whenever you're drawing this uh, what, what you should do is uh, make this curve and then take it this means uh, otherwise you, it, someone might think this is connected to B but it's not so here we go so basically it's coming over this so somehow this is complete yeah this is complete as you can see over here and what you can see over here is um, I don't want to make a mess out of this right now, but uh, you you can actually see is that I'm using two half adder. Uh, one one is this one. You can see one is this one. 
this particular one. And the other one is if you look at this one and this one. So this and this is one half adder. This and this is the other half adder. So with the combination of two half adders, uh, we've been able to make is a full adder. But uh, the important thing is that the output that we're getting um, out of the two ands, we have to use over here is your OR gate. As you know, this is the OR gate to get the C out, right? So this is your truth table. You can actually side by side implement it with the truth table to see how it's working, okay? So, <clears throat> so basically you can also see over here one more thing. Let me just point it out. Uh, this, the second half adder logic uh, can be used to get, uh, used, used to basically add the CN to the sum produced by the first half adder to get the final output. Uh, you, you, can, you can see that over here as well. This is, this is what's happening, right? So this is your full adder, this is your half adder, that this is why we use, the, use them. Okay, um, I hope it's clear. I will try to answer your remaining questions, right? Okay then. 